Hi, this is Lucy, and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. Yes, I've had a break for a few weeks, three weeks, four weeks, I don't even know, from doing build videos. I have still been building a little though. Unfortunately, I can't stop building. Apparently, I'm, I might have a problem. Um, I built a camp on my, what was level 14 during meat week. I think she's level 50 now. Um, and it just, yeah, it, it turned into a, a full blown camp and I like it so much. I kind of wish that I had done it on my higher level character so I'd have more build budget, but I will, I will give you a tour of that in a few days. So as some of you may have seen, I have done a different kind of video. I did my etiquette video which some of you really seem to enjoy i expected to get a lot of stick from that video and 99.9% .9 of the comments have been really positive so i'm glad you enjoyed it i tried to make it funny um and yes there was a definite definite bridgerton-esque theme going on there lantha asked if we'll see more of lucy countess of charleston and i don't know I don't have plans to at the moment. If I feel that there is something suitable for her, I will by all means get her out. I do have plans to do some other kinds of videos. I plan to do some ESO videos. I plan to do a comparison between 76 and ESO because there are some things in ESO that just really work well. And technically ESO isn't Bethesda, it's Zenimax, um, but they're all part of the same group. And I really think that Bethesda developers should really sit down with ESO developers and have a chat. <laughs> so you'll see why if I get around to doing that video, it's going to be a lot of work. But I will be carrying on building. Um, and uh, yeah, I love building. So today's video is slightly different. Today's build is slightly different because this wasn't something I saw and thought, oh yeah, I want to build that. This is where I saw a location or I knew of a location where I wanted to build and I built something that was sympathetic and fit within that very small location. So I will show you what I mean. Early on in the game, I found this bridge. It's a very cute little bridge. It has got these little hanging bottles of what someone recently, yes, you know who you are said they look like bottles of urine. That hadn't actually occurred to me. It's just really pretty. It's really cute. This is where we are on the map. We are below, below Camp McClintock and above Lakeside Cabins. There is a tiny amount of space over here on this side of the bridge. There is a hole. Yes. Whoa. That was a tide jump. You will fall through the bridge. And there is slightly bigger space here, but obviously you have trees and things. But I thought, you know, I'm going to give it a go. I am on my Fallout Worlds server. That is why I am jumping so high. I have started building something in Fallout Worlds um, on my main character that I will hopefully show you in a couple of weeks. There was a location I always wanted to build. You may not be familiar with it, but you will see, hopefully soon. But anyway, this is what I have done with this spot. On this side, I have put all my workbenches. There just simply wasn't enough space to put them in the cabin. I have put some lights down here attached to the bridge. There is a power, that is a power generating box. If you don't know how to do that, I have done a video on how I do my electrics. I have patched the bridge with doormats so I don't fall through. Now, although I am on Fallout Worlds, this is a camp that I built on a regular server, so it's not a Fallout Worlds camp. 
And there was another issue with this camp, which I haven't seen for a while, and that is texture. The texture comes through and it really, really annoyed me, but I was so determined to build here that I just decided to ignore it. <laughs> because I tried various tricks and I could not. I think the um, foundation would have to be up to this level high. Um, so about four feet, five feet. <laughs> I don't know how tall my character is. Um, for the texture to completely disappear and then all the trees would be in the roof. So there is a slight thing here with this tree coming through, but I've managed to avoid it most of the way around. Apart from that one bit, I can live with it. So this is why it's this wedge shape simply sort of to avoid the trees. I have rebuilt this three times trying to get the layout that I want. When I originally built it I did not have a bathroom. I hate having a camp without a bathroom because I like my camps to look like, like they could exist in the real world. Well most of them, we won't we won't include Neddy in that. Although I suppose technically Neddy could, could exist in the real world. Because it's a bit scrappy, it's not really scrappy, but I decided to use the old bathroom set. You can't get the shower in here. This is the kitchen area. I wanted to create a different kind of cooker in this kitchen. I decided to put the cooking pot on the counter. But then I looked at it and I thought you couldn't have a fire underneath that on top of a wooden counter it just doesn't make any sense so I've made this hob um, the hob is made from the vault tech bedside table bed cabinet whatever you want to call it and two very hot frogs <laughs> I will show you how I made this when I build the cabin there is a sleeping area you could obviously section this off put a wall up or a divider but I kind of like it open I have my ducks all in a row oh dear is that a dad joke <laughs> um, I have my fruit wreath which I've combined with the corn wreath to make it look a little bit more interesting I actually prefer that to either of them I think it looks better together my Apricot jam. It's not a brain in a jar. I really like the view through the trees here, so I have put the stools down facing outwards. The texture is a problem here. It's even coming through on the sofa. And I nearly kind of rage quit because of this, and I've just decided, as I said, I'm just ignoring it. I can't, I can't deal with it. <laughs> I did originally build this with a porch here, but there just was not enough space to get everything in and the bathroom. If you don't care about having a bathroom, take it out and then you could have a porch out here so that the detritus doesn't look too bad. There is still a tiny porch here. I have a barbecue and some chairs. And I have my chickens out here. The one thing about being here is every time I land at my camp or every time I come over the bridge, it invites me to claim the workshop at Lakeside Cabins. I do have a turret here. Although I just got attacked by ghouls and they came from somewhere else. Normally the enemies come up here, so which is why the turret is here. All of this on a public server is part of the build so you could build something else I think it ends about here you could build something underneath here put crops down I have added you can't probably see because of the light I have added a couple of firefly jar jars here as well looks pretty at night The easiest way to get up here from Lakeside Caverns is this way, or you can just jump up here if you have marsupial. 
Or you can just drop down from Camp McClintock. So this is the build and now I will show you how to build it. Right, here we go. I have replaced my camp widget here at the beginning of the bridge and I have stored all the blueprints. The cabin is two by five wide, so we're going to start with some foundations. I lined the first foundation up with this rock, so I did try with different varying foundation heights. Um, you can't actually fit stairs, steps in front of this, so it needs to be fairly low. I'm just going to put a directional thing on here so I know that these are all going in the same direction. they're not. Does look it may take you a few attempts to get it perfectly lined up. Um, and the right height. Let's see. You need to make sure that you can actually, that this foundation is high enough that you can get a wall on here. If it's too low and you can't get a wall on there, you will have to raise them a little bit. But I think we, I think we're okay. Right, I will start with the log cabin walls. With these, obviously make sure that they are on the inny position or the outy position, whichever way or direction you're looking at it. Because we have a problem with the log cabin set. It can go either way, so they're both now in the right position. If you don't do it, you will end up with gaps and your roofs might not line up. Some glass pieces. I used half walls rather than the full piece here because you have that metal bar at the bottom which I didn't want. Creating a wedge shape. So And we're putting in extra light with these triangular glass pieces. Right. Need to finish off the bathroom. And these walls here. We got this wedge shape. Uh, 
Then obviously out here for the porch I used glass again. I found it easier to do the roofs from up here. I used the green. Obviously you can get on the roof once you have a few pieces up. And there's always one, isn't there? There's always one that won't go in. There you go. That is pretty much the build. I will quickly show you how I made the cooker, the stove. You start with this um, Voltec nightstand, which for some bizarre reason is under floor decor and not tables. And you put You could, if you don't have um, access to the... F I can't remember how you get the frog jar plan. Um, I think it's available. I think you get it possibly from um, a quest in the game. I don't know if it's automatically unlocked. If you don't have that, you could use a brain in the jar. If you have that. Try and line them up. To make a frog jar, you just need um, glass, a frog, <clears throat> which I seem to have one in my throat, <clears throat> a frog which you can pick frogs up. The easiest place is the swimming pool near the golf course at White Springs and Bloodleaf, which you can get in the river at Flatwoods. We need our pressure plate. I have found, I saw this um, on one of Mr. Church's videos, um, although apparently Lanthar told him about it. You don't need to stand on your pressure plate. You can actually put a mannequin on there. And now it's not going to work. <laughs> Oh, why aren't you working? Okay. And you just merge your frogs down until just the tops of the jars are sticking out like that. Right. Now get your, obviously you don't have to do it on this, you can do it on another surface. I'm going to do this quick and dirty. You put your kitchen counter down like this. And you line up your nightstand between... Oh, this video is cursed, isn't it? Well, after having Protectrons attack my camp and then Vertibots show up and they were having a shooting match outside my camp, Kind of glad I didn't put a turret down because the turrets will attack the vertibots and then the vertibots destroy your camp.
You take your nightstand with your frogs in and you place it in the middle between two of these. Now hopefully, if you've done it right, you'll be able to lift this one up. If it's attaching to one of the back ones, you'll have to pull it forward a bit. So you want it attached to one of the ones on the front. You get your trusty pressure plate. I'm having a day of it. And you just lower it down. You will have a little bit sticking out the front, but it is barely visible. As long as it's whoops, not all sticking out the front. Come on. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not actually selecting the nightstand. Right, now when you try and snap it back in, obviously it won't go. Now, if you flame a trapped these, it would still not go. So what you need to do is remove the ones in the way. It will now go in. And what you actually do is you flame a trap this. And there is a reason for this. If you flame a trap an object, i.e. the counter, the objects attached to it will disappear completely. Now you may get the wall with this one, which I did. Repair the wall. Now, you can replace your missing kitchen counters. Repair this and you have your stovetop. Now obviously you can't cook on that, so we are going to line our cooker up. Quite often with these things I just try and get it to go green from a distance and then I fine tune it closer to the To the object. So there you have it. That is there. This is a visual glitch. It sometimes happens when you flame or trap things. So you now have a cooking station you can sit on your levitate next to your counter to use. <laughs> I don't think there was anything else really. As I said, by all means play around with where you want walls and windows. The hole in the bridge I just simply filled with doormats. Um, I put them this way. I think I did two rows. Just. You get the idea. Because the bridge is obviously has a dip in the middle, it is better to do it this from this side because otherwise you have it floats across and then you can't actually walk across it from the other side. So this is my little cabin which I'm calling Bridge End. I hope you enjoy this build. I hope you like my cooker and you can put up with the noise of this frog's chirping. I'd suggest you put music on in your camp if it bothers you. <laughs> it's a really nice little spot. Um, it's got great views and I love all the trees in the forest, all the colours, the sort of autumnal colours. You just have to unfortunately put up with this I mean you can change the floor colors out if it you know but it will show through on mats which is I think I used this originally for the
with the porches. I think it does hide it somewhat if you want to just do that. But it will th show through on a, on a rug. I must admit, I haven't seen what it would look like with carpet. I don't think there are any carpets that <laughs> would hide it, to be honest. No. Next up, I will be doing a tour of my tea house, which I built on my level 14. And um, hopefully next week I will be doing... Um, or at least I will be working on it over the next week. I will be working on um, my Fallout Worlds build, which is actually on the top of Vault Tech University in Morgantown. And I will also probably be doing a short tour of my of a build I've done in ESO or a decoration. There is a little bit of building in there, so so lots to do. And I have builders in tomorrow, Monday. Yay! And I have to get up really early. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's why I'm doing this video today I'm recording on Sunday so let me know what you think in the comments um, I'm glad to be back I've missed you all that's all from me today thank you for watching